people, two-wheeler stocks continue to be in focus on the back of news of production cuts. We have Sonia Shanayu standing by with the key takeaways of what the industry experts have to say. Sonia? This slowdown was not anticipated by anyone. In fact, a couple of two-wheeler makers uh, in the industry are seeing inventory levels as high as 100 days and that is definitely unprecedented. Uh, overall, a production cut of 20% is expected by the street for the industry as a whole. But some two-wheeler makers could also undertake production cuts of around 50% uh, uh, in order to rationalize their inventory. Not just that, there is a big rise in the price of bikes that will take place from the 1st of April 2019. Due to the new ABS norms, uh, prices of bikes will go up by as high as 8,000 rupees and that will you know, deter uh, consumption further. So demand could slow down to low single digits for the sector as a whole in the coming year. In fact, let's understand a little bit more, get in some industry perspective. We spoke with Raji Bajaj, the MD of Bajaj Auto. We also got chatting with a whole host of other industry players on the extent of slowdown hitting the two-wheeler industry. Listen in to what they had to say. We are all aware that uh, uh, growth rates really dropped off since October. Um, the reality is that most people did not anticipate this or chose to ignore it. Uh, and that is why what you said is absolutely right. Uh, uh, inventory uh, for some is uh, actually, I think, in triple digits, uh, 100 days or more. Uh, they may or may not acknowledge that, but that is the reality. And in terms of production cuts, um, typically I hear of some of the big makers uh, effecting about a 20% cut. And uh, don't be surprised if on 1st or 2nd April you find out that some of the big ones have cut back by as much as 50 or 60 percent in March. Will Bajaj Auto be cutting production at all? No, for Bajaj Auto, uh, I can say very confidently we are in a good position. I think this is basically for three reasons. Uh, a, we did not crank up production and therefore inventories as much as the others did uh, pre-festive. Um, secondly, uh, we... Uh, preferred to be safe than sorry and therefore we had a strong promotion lined up for the festive season which uh, kept our uh, retail momentum very strong and that continues to be strong. I th and I think most importantly, uh, we anticipated this scenario and had a very clever strategy in place to address uh, three very clear segments of price entry and premium with three brands, CT, Platina and uh, the Pulsar. And we worked on them on all three important uh, or four important aspects, I would say product, price, promotion and distribution. As a result, uh, we are at 55 days of uh, inventory right now. I can tell you very specifically, our retail this month may be 200,000 or a little more. Uh, the stock is 375,000, uh, so that's about 55 days work. And we have two choices uh, because we are not happy with 55 days of stock. We can either reduce stock to 45 days by reducing the inventory or we can uh, push up our retail. And I think we are going to push up our retail. You will see it moving up. I am very confident in the next two, three months to 250,000 or thereabouts. And then we will be absolutely uh, comfortable at 45 days of stock. Uh, what are you noticing? Is there more downtrend in the four-wheelers? or more in the two-wheelers. Just give us more colour in terms of demand and pick up by the OEMs. I think from a demand perspective, uh, we heard uh, what Mr. Bajaj said. And we normally uh, have no business to second guess uh, what our customers say. And we all know that uh, the second half of uh, the current fiscal from October onward has definitely been uh, under pressure. Uh, but what we have been doing is, uh, in addition to in adding more products uh, and more and more premiumization, we have been able to withstand that pressure. Uh, even if we see from industry perspective, while the second half has been broadly 8 to 10 percent lower, we have been able to maintain our revenue. And uh, going forward, uh, we are all uh, echoing uh, what uh, the customers are saying, uh, be in terms of four wheelers or two wheelers, uh, that up to June, at least there are no signs of uh, strong revival. Uh, we are tightening our belts. The focus is uh, mostly on uh, quality delivery and development and uh, we are uh, continuously working to up our uh, portfolio in terms of offering to the uh, customers uh, which is now we are adding sensor plant you know we are adding the alloy wheel plant recently we have acquired a seating company called harita seating so we have been trying to withstand this uh, tough time uh, we all know that the long term uh, story for the country is intact we are uh, very heavily uh, i would say 
not that extent of penetration in terms of four wheelers. So we believe that four wheelers may actually see more uh, growth going forward as compared to uh, two wheelers. But both the businesses uh, we are confident will grow. In FY20, are you looking at a double digit growth at all or do you think it will be single digit then as well? Uh, there will certainly be a growth uh, next year and uh, to your question to Rajiv on uh, pre-buy, uh, I, I think next year uh, you will see the impact. This year you might not see it because of safety, uh, uh, the safety items which are being introduced. But next year certainly you see the impact because uh, the price differential between uh, Bharat stage 4 and 6, uh, there is a difference of about six to 7,000 rupees as uh, what Rajiv is saying. And there is going to be an impact as far as the customers are concerned. And uh, you will see both the vehicles in the market in the month of say, I would say September, October, November onwards. So there would be a comparison and people would actually uh, make a choice there. So you will see a lot of buying there and I see a growth uh, in uh, 20. And uh, I think we should be around uh, 8 to 10 percent. That's what I would estimate as far as two wheelers are concerned. In the car industry, I would also estimate around uh, 6 to 7 percent. That's what uh, we have factored. And uh, the exports uh, should also do well. Uh, that's what we are factoring. The diesel is going to collapse. Uh, that, of course, uh, is one. Uh, the other thing that we are factoring. And uh, all whatever investments are there, we are diverting those investments into uh, the gasoline and or electric vehicles. And uh, that's what uh, we are doing. But we see a growth in uh, 2020 and uh, we are investing accordingly. And besides that, uh, we also have, uh, the, like I said, the export orders and for more items and more uh, components uh, with uh, uh, large customers. And I think that uh, would also see our uh, growth taking place next year. So we, we are targeting almost 20% growth next year. Uh, uh, this is our, uh, as per our own budget.